to get a little more from you on your design philosophy. You actually seem to equate all of this to the race car. Can you explain a little that? Bit, yeah, I like that. I call it systems engineered design optimization, SEDO, okay? And it's what it really involves is is attacking every aspect of golf club design with the singular objective of improving performance. Mm -hmm. Formula One race cars are a, a good illustration of the same kind of thinking, okay? The guy that wins on Sunday afternoon is the guy that's got the best engine, the best suspension, the best transmission, the best aerodynamics, the best fuel efficiency, probably the better drivers too. Mm -hmm. But it takes that whole combination in a synergistic fashion to give you the kind of results you're really looking for there, okay? We're seeing some of that occur in golf clubs nowadays on drivers. Characteristic time, uh, spring effect, uh, longer composite shafts that really do perform a whole lot better, bigger heads, center of gravity located in a, in a more optimum area where it really affects launch angle and spin rates, fitting on drivers and things like that. Where it really does begin to make a big difference, okay? But you're not seeing this same kind of design optimization or attempts at design improvement occur in the short game. And that's where what we're doing is really raising the bar, okay? You asked earlier about how we're gonna compete against Cleveland and Vokey, the design leaders. We're really not trying to. We're not trying to compete against guys that are doing $120 wedges. Our golf club costs almost three times as much to make as either of those golf clubs. So this it's, is a whole different animal. So and your club is, is more expensive. Oh, absolutely. But and in it, your mind, with very be. good reason. And it should be, yeah, yeah, absolutely. When you're out on the range and you're hitting wedge after wedge after wedge, after, you can get in a groove. Oh, yeah. But then you don't hit those shots for a while out on the golf course. Yep. You think this club is perfect. There's a design philosophy element that I've thrown into that, too, and I've never heard anybody else express it either, Craig, as, as I've been my years in the golf industry. I call it design for a first attempt. Okay, and it's, it is in part, it's, it's golf clubs with the right kind of feel, but it's more a matter of optimizing the design variables so you get a better outcome on your first attempt on any shot. Because when you go to the golf course, you and I know we both play golf, I can give you a golf club and let you hit it eight or 10 times, and you can start peppering a flag that's 50 or 60 yards away after a few swings, okay? That's not the case when you go to the golf course. Mm -hmm. You don't have multiple attempts to get a successful outcome on a shot. It's the first attempt is the only one that counts. That's the real golf, okay? So there are elements in golf club design that embody the, the weight and balance of the golf club, the load and unload properties of the shaft, things like that that make a gigantic difference in how well you're able to perform on your first attempt. So that's, that's what the design for first attempts about. You talked about versatility. Yep. The key for everybody out there, I think, is one word. That's playability, okay? Yep. They've got their irons, they've got their fairway woods, they've got their hybrids, they've got their driver. How do you match these to those? Well, it depends on, you know, the irons you're playing right now, you're going to have an end of the set, okay? Mm -hmm. These aren't really and shouldn't be thought of as your 10, 11, 12, 13 irons. That's just not, it's, 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 it's a whole different product category. It's a whole different uh, part of playing the game of golf. Um, irons are played with full swing shots. Wedges are almost always played with partial swing shots. Mm -hmm. So the, the demand requirements, the fitting requirements, things like that, that would, that would normally be addressed in irons uh, design and irons fitting just don't apply on wedges. It's a different game. So if, if you and I go play and we take a tour player along with us and we're all three presented with a 40-yard wedge shot, uh, the shot is the same for me as a senior player swinging at it my swing speed and the tour player swinging at it uh, with, a, with a potential 340-yard driver swing speed, the, the shot's the same at 40 yards, the pitch shot. So mm -hmm. the shaft's got to load and recover. The club head's got to be presented the same way. The outcome needs to be the same way. So the design considerations for creating that golf club to hit that shot need to be the same for that tour player, for me, for you. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, don't, you need to design the club around the situations as opposed to the fitting requirements of the player. Player's not the issue. The, the demands of the situation are the issue.